Time for another stock review. This time, NOVIX. Interesting company. Look at this. We're looking at some uh, advanced technology right now. We're going to look at the numbers, the balance sheet. We're going to look at some breaking news. We're going to look at inside trading. We're going to give it a valuation score. We're going to give it a profitability, solvency score. Uh, all of this we're going to cover on this show right now. A lot of detail. We're going to start off nice and simple, and then we're going to get into the meat and bones of it. All my members can review a full stock review. I make the review using the most advanced algorithmic software. I'm the most honest person on YouTube. I aim to be the most honest at, uh, person on YouTube TV. Uh, I'm not sponsored or promoted to uh, promote a stock or uh, direct it in any way whatsoever. I'm looking at this with my real money, my real shares, sharing uh, the numbers and the facts as they are run through our algorithmic software. I will give you a link to this software I use at the end. All my members can get a lifetime discount, which essentially gives you my membership for free, or you can get a free plan of if you just want to review a couple of stocks as well. All right, I'll give everyone a link for that at the end. Let's go straight into it. It's a new company. We are going to start off light, but we are going to go through news. We are going to go through the financials of the company, look at the inside trading, uh, looking at everything you need to know around the company. So without further ado, let's start our latest review. If it's your first time here, click subscribe and ring the bell. I will give you links to all my social media so you can be part of the show, communicate with me afterwards. You can uh, ask me questions if you are working at the company. I'm, I'm inviting CEOs and, and, and members of the company to join me uh, and do interviews and hear your wonderful story about your company. Right. What is NOVIX? Let's start nice and simple and then we'll get into the meat and bones of it uh, as, as we go. All right. Let's uh, let's go down here. NOVIX, as you can see, extremely volatile stock, up and down, up and down like a flipping yo-yo. Uh, it's uh, IPO'd in uh, 2021. What is it, though? I hear you ask. I can actually hear you down the phone. You know what I mean. Uh, NO NOVIX Corporation engages in the des design and development of silicon anode lithium ion batteries. Okay, so we're a battery making company. The firm's proprietary 3D cell architecture increases energy. There's the key word for me, proprietary. I like companies that are unique and uh, do something that nobody else does. I do like that. Density and maintains a high cycle life. It also provides... Uh, it also, it, sorry, it also developing uh, its 3D technology and production process for the electric vehicle and energy storage uh, markets to help enable utilization of renewable energy. The company was founded by Mr. Harold Jones Rust, the third, uh, Ashok Lahiri and uh, Murali, I hope I pronounced that correctly, uh, Ramus Subarmanian, I do apologize if I've mispronounced that, in November 2006, and in headquarters in Fremont, California, the listed name of uh, NVX is uh, ENVX, NOVIX Corporation Common Stock. All right, founded in 2006, and it IPO'd as we shared you, showed you here in 2021. Okay, so we know the CEOs, the CEO is Raj Taluri. The first thing you want to do is research him. And I have some news on him very, very specifically. So very, very important that. 335 employees, small company, um, to founded in 20, founded in 26. Maintenance requirement. If you're going to use margin to buy this stock, it's regarded as fairly risky. Not as high as the 50, uh, the 75 and the 100% margin you can get requirement. It's the lowest is 25. This is 45. So it's mid risk if you are using margin to buy this stock. Market cap, $1.8 billion is the market cap. Remember, the market cap is the value of the stocks, not the value of the company. That's only the price that people are prepared to pay for the stock. Never really gives me an indication whether I should buy it or not. 52-week uh, um, high, 23.90. The high today is 10.99. 52-week low, uh, $6.50. And the low today, 10.68. Price to earnings ratio, negative $7.60. No dividend, very low average, 
Uh, sorry, I beg your pardon. Low average volume, uh, 3.68. It's not as low as it can be, but it certainly isn't a very high volume stock. I like volume stocks. It enables movement of the stock and you can... Um, no, a lot more, a lot more uh, liquidity on a high volume stock. Anyway, Raymond, uh, thank you very much indeed for your subscription. I do make these videos during live events. A buy now. This is a buy from Morningstar. I don't use this uh, as uh, as my guide to buy, but nevertheless, strong buy. Ninety two percent of uh, twelve rating say buy. Okay. I'll go into more detail later on, and you can see uh, in, you know, much more detail than that. The company is losing money, uh, and it's uh, just going basically sideways at the moment. Uh, analysts are uh, relatively accurate with their predictions. Most recently, uh, they underestimated the company. The company beat on earnings, and uh, that's looking favorable. But we are still... Uh, a lost company and we are still going sideways. No real growth here at the moment. Okay, let's uh, go into uh, who else buys the company. I always share this because it gives you a sentiment of who else is buying this company. It gives you a sentiment of how it will trade. Not necessarily important if you're an investor, but as a trader, you might want to know how it will trade. QuantumScape, I have to be honest, don't know a lot about that one. So far, I don't like it. The CEO talks rubbish. He kept saying that interest rates were going to go down and he had no impression of what was going on in the real world. And considering that he's involved in money and he, and he runs this company, I'm not a fan of SoFi at all. Um, he talks rubbish. Uh, lithium Americas, don't know much about it. It's interesting that we've got a lot of lithium here. Uh, I do like lithium. Uh, Enphase Energy, one of my favorite um, uh, stocks. I'm in this one. That's interesting. Uh, interesting stuff. Charge points, very risky. But um, nothing too alarming there. There's no mullen. There's no scam stocks littered amongst all of that. So I can, I can kind of live with that, I, I think, at the moment. Anyway, let's go and uh, face their website. Let's go and have a look at their website, learn a bit more about the company. As we know, they are a battery company unlocking the full potential of next generation devices. So have a little have a little look. Advantages of 100% active silicon anodes, um, wearable uh, and IoT, uh, the Internet of Things, uh, the devices that connect us and the devices we're connected to. Um, that's interesting. What should I click on? Uh, the company. Let me look on the company in a minute. Uh, let's uh, see if we've got any information here uh, for the investors. Stock information. Yep. We like to look at that, how it addresses itself to the investor. Uh, nothing really there to get excited about. Let me go back to the products, what they're actually doing right now. Um, let's go back to the homepage and see, uh, let's learn more about their batteries. Uh, let's have a quick look in here. Our breakthrough cell architecture allows more efficient use of the volume of the battery, improving the packing efficiency of the active materials, enabling exceptional thermal performance and abuse is that abuse tolerance? Yes, it is. Abuse tolerance, as well as accommodating the use of 100% active silicon anode. The use of silicon within our architecture translates to a battery with high energy density and capacity in an efficient form factor. Okay, well, this could be interesting. I would certainly like to see what the partnerships this company has with EVs, for example, Tesla um, and, and, and Apple and smartphones. Is it, is it, is it going to partner up? That's where, you got, that's where you make your money. If you can find that it actually starts to provide the, the, the equipment and the technology for you know, Tesla or Apple or whatever it might be. So uh, that's something I would like to dive further into. Anyway, I did mention to you about the CEO before we come on to the numbers. You do want to look at uh, the CEO because the CEO, end of the day, runs the company. And how the company runs is how your money is going to grow or shrink. Let's have a look. Enovix president and CEO, Dr. Raj Taluri, receives Executive of the Year Big Award for 
business just a few days ago. So congratulations to you. I uh, would love to interview you, sir. I do um, like to have a guest on my show, learn about your company. So uh, I will send this to you uh, via your uh, your investor relations and uh, invite you and your team to join me on the show. Anyway, let's read this news and see what it says. I'm going to zoom in just to make it a bit clearer for all of you, just to make it a bit easier. I think that's pretty clear now. Uh, announced that its president and CEO, Dr. Raj Taluri, has received the Business Intelligence Group's big award for business in the Executive of the Year category. The organization's annual program rewards companies, products, and people that are dealing that are leading their respective industries. I like that. Dr. Taluri has served as president, chief executive officer, and a director of Enovix Corporation since joining the company in 2023. So he's just joined. Uh, since then, he has been challenged with shifting an R&D focused uh, company research and development, to high volume manufacturing to build a sustainable business. Understanding the needs of mobile devices, OEMs, he recognized recognize the, ne- the the necessity to move from uh, a uh, f- to move from a horizontal business strategy focused on serving hundreds of customers to a vertical strategy focused on a smaller group of large customers dr taluri recently implemented a plan to reorganize operations manufacturing and sales to to place unovix firmly on a growth path okay I like it. Okay, we won't cover any more of that. You can uh, you can pick up where I left off should you wish to do so. I'll leave you all the links. All right, I like it. Let's go and look now at the the numbers. Very very important. Uh, the numbers. So let's do that right now. And here we go. I'm going to start off with the uh, the intrinsic value of the company. Let's look here. We like to look at the intrinsic value and I will give you some alerts if I detect any alerts are very, very important. The best case scenario, 71% overvalued. Now, how we come to these conclusions is we are not, um, we are not um, uh, biased in any way. We run the numbers through our algorithmic software, which looks at the balance sheet, which looks at the, uh, the profit, the losses, the debt situation, and provide us with a valuation of the company, not biased the way analysts will often do it. Um, So I want to let you know how we come to these numbers. However, there are some warnings and we'll explain those in a moment. Best case scenario, it's overvalued. Base case is overvalued. And worst case is overvalued. Okay, so we're overvaluing this stock right now. It's too expensive. However, Wall Street have a 170% target on it. Okay, they like it. Exceptional revenue growth forecast, the potential, 199. We're giving that a big green tick. And the return uh, on equity is increasing as well. Very, very important return on equity. Very important metric. All right, let's, let's zoom out. Now then, I need to give you this warning here. This is a persistent overvaluation detected. Historical valuation indicates this stock's market price has continually exceeded its intrinsic value. This enduring overvaluation may be indicative of market over overconfidence or non-fundamental influences. Explore beyond the financials to understand this valuation discrepancy. So we need to understand that this is not enough, hence why this overall review is important. That new story, the, the fact that the, the new CEO is taking the company in a different direction, this might be an opportunity now, okay, to buy the stock. Or it could be, it's over. It's overbought already. Uh, that very often happens in this type of sector. Uh, you're waiting for a drop, or you could say it's still undervalued because of the potential growth. <clears throat> As we've just alerted you to, the exceptional revenue growth, revenue growth forecast, and return on equity is increasing. All right, all of that's good, but then it means people are overbuying the stock also. 
Now, this is important. Our software now picks up this. It takes the last earnings call, finds with our AI technology the most important points in that earnings call, and puts out in a transcript so I can give you the headlines. Enovix, during the recent quarter, has made significant progress by uh, reorganizing its Fremont production facility um, for innovation and uh, R&D. This shift led to, to substantial cost savings of $22 million annually. The acquisition of uh, Root Job uh, bolstered vertical integration in manufacturing and opened routes to new customers. Enovix FDA approved battery powered health device is set to hit major retailers next year with military contracts also boosting revenue this quarter. The company is on a growth trajectory with an expected acceleration to approximately 50% going into the next fiscal year. This is very good news picked up from the last earnings call. However, the stock has been therefore been bought and now it's potentially overbought, but that doesn't mean to say it's still overbought long term. Okay, let's go and look at the financials. We can see here 1.4 million, very, very small. It's gone from a research and development company to now trying to uh, go to customers and sell the products. So we can see that uh, if we look here, um, in 2022, um, December, 6.2 million. April the 1st, 2023, 6.2 million. Then it went all the way down to 1.2 million revenue, 1.4 million revenue, September. And December, uh, estimate, even lower, less than a million, 796. However, this is why you buy a stock. Next year, estimates from March, 5.1, 9.5, and a very steep S-curve. Very steep. Analysts love it. 166 million. If that comes off, then you've got, a, then you've got a, a, a potentially a good stock to invest in. All right. So maybe, maybe it's a good stock to buy. Let's have a look at it. Operating income, 198 million negative. Uh, spending its operating income uh, has been going down, down 7% on the most recent range. Net income, negative 165 million, started to improve there uh, by 28% in the most recent range. Operating cash flow, negative 99.3 million. Capital expenditure, negative 37.8 million. Free cash flow, 137.1 million. Okay. What about the balance sheet? Very small company, 520 million in assets, 268 million in liabilities, long-term debt, 167 million. So half of its liabilities is long-term debt. Well, a research and development company, startup, investing, not selling anything, you're borrowing money. Unfortunately, it's borrowed money. It's not got its own cash. It's got borrowed money, paying at uh, you know uh, historic highs. But we know it's going to come down. If the rates come down next year, which we expect them to do so, that will benefit this company enormously. And the potential growth next year is enormous uh, if it all goes to plan. Okay. So the balance sheet, it, uh, it has some debt um, and long-term debt <clears throat> Is, uh, is a significant part of that. But overall, though, our assets are on the right side of the balance sheet. So we're okay. Uh, you know, it's okay for the moment. Efficiency, well, obviously, the company is not making any money, really. And uh, you can see operating margins, gross margins aren't looking great, obviously. So uh, I would predict that the solvency score for this company, uh, when we show it in a minute, would be quite would be quite favourable um, because its its potential is massive and its debts are manageable. Uh, but profitability, profitability, I would predict, would be low on this score. Uh, we'll, we'll show you next in a minute. We're going to run it through the front, run it through the system. I would have thought that the profitability would be low and the and um, the, uh, the solvency would be good, 
All right, let's have a look. Let's scroll down and let's have a look at where we are. Here we go. The profitability uh, of the company is low, as we expected. It's 22. Exceptional revenue growth forecast, as we reported, is great. Return on equity is increasing. ROIC is increasing, but negative one-year revenue growth. That's where we are right now. So this could dramatically improve next year. This could be worth buying. So far, I'm liking this. So far, this is a buy for me. NVEC solvency score, 79%. High Altman score, high short-term solvency, low DE, and, uh, and negative net debt. All of this looks good. All of this looks good. Um, I like it so far. Let's look at Wall Street's targets. 879% high forecast. On the mid-range, 173%. On the low, 4%. Okay. Competitive landscape. I will give you the link to this and you can go and check the competition out. I'm not going to do that right now. Ownership. Who's buying it on the inside? Who's trading it on the inside? And what is their uh, short interest? Let's have a look at it right now. Well, I'll share with you. During the last 12 mon months, Enovix Insiders bought... 4.3 million of shares. They only sold 778. The last transaction was August the 24th by their president and CEO bought 20,000 worth of NVEX. So, uh, so, so NVEX, yeah, but that's right. Um, so we've had a bit of selling here, but majority back here was, was bought in. This is very good sign for the stock. Um, I might even buy some myself looking at this so far. Uh, shareholder return, NVEX news. Uh, there really isn't any news that's worth me sharing. It's over a year ago, so I'm not going to, to, to cover that. It's not really uh, of much interest, me doing that. It's a little bit uh, out of date. Let me just look at the uh, inside position. Sorry, not the inside position, the short position. Whoa! 28.68, very heavy short interest. A lot of short interest driving this stock down. Year to date, it's down 15.6%. Um, it's been as low as 861 over the last year. I mean, you're not really, it's, it, it's at the bottom of its channel. It does have a lot of short interest. Now then, the good news is it's way over 20 which means a short squeeze potential is there. Remember, the short squeeze for GameStop was 100%, but anything over 20 is regarded as excessive potential for a short squeeze on any good news. But you need to remember, though, right now it will have negative pressure put on it and it could drive your stock lower. Let's go and look at it, look at it again in, in some, uh, some more detail. The, the current price, if we look at it, if we look at, 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 at how it trades, you can see that you're pretty much buying it in the low range if you're buying it now. We've seen it as low as we look around here, $8. But we've seen the Wall Street analysis prediction of what they think it could do. We've seen its solvency score. We know it's not going bust. We've seen its debt situation, which will only improve in the spring, I would have thought. So overall, this stock is interesting. I kind of like it. I'm going to do some more research on the battery. If we've got any connection there with Tesla or any connection there with Apple, for example, if they've got this better battery and it's more efficient and so on and so forth, they've got any customers for it, but it looks like they feel that they have. So the estimates are really looking good. It might be worth a buy at this price because a short squeeze could be around the corner. Anyway, there's my review on 
uh, ENVX. Click above my head for all the links like my X account, my newsletter, everything else you might need. If you look below in the description, you'll find all my links. Also, I said to you I'd provide you with the information of how I uh, do, you can see over the last month how it's risen, look, down today, but uh, we've had a bit of a rise this last month. Um, if you want my software that I'm using, uh, you can. My members uh, can get a free plan, also a, a, pl a premium plan, which will basically make my membership for free uh, if you if you use my discount code. The link is, is above my head and down in the description. Also, everybody else, you can also get uh, a, a free plan and discount as well. Um, it's a different structure for my non-members. Go over here and you'll find my full list for all my alpha uh, spread reviews and down here more news I think would be interesting for you around uh, ENVX. That's it. If you're one of my members you can request a review like this uh, and uh, I would like to invite the company or anybody who works for the company to call in, be live on my show. I'd like to interview and learn more about your company. Until then, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.